Chapter 4, Bulliitis. Link didn't even talk to me when I got off the bus. He just walked away. I watched him. He crossed Greenwood Street and started to walk down Park Street. And then I remembered, of course, Link had moved into the Carson's old house. The house had been for sale and now it was Link's house, right on Park Street, right around the corner from me. When I walked into my house, I didn't even say hi to my mom. I dropped my book bag on the floor. Then I went right to the playroom. My little sister Abby was watching a puppet show on TV. It was her favorite show. I said, give me that, and I grabbed the remote from her. She frowned at me and stuck her tongue out. Then I changed the channel to Batman. Abby said, hey, I'm watching my puppets. And I said, oh yeah, and I went over to her. She was sitting on a big pillow on the floor. I felt a lot taller than Abby. I said, well, I'm watching Batman and you can't stop me. Then I kicked her pillow. Abby yelled, ow, ow, that hurt. Mom, Jake stole the remote and he just kicked me hard. Mom came in. She was walking her fast walk. That's her, you're in big trouble walk. She stopped and stood over me. She said, Jake Drake, you know better than to come in here and make a fuss. You come right back to the kitchen and pick up your book bag and give that remote back to your sister. I tossed the remote to Abby. By mistake, it hit her on the knee. Ow! Now she really yelled and she tried to cry a little too. So real quick, I said, sorry, but I was too late. Mom took me by the arm and marched me to the kitchen. She put me on a chair, then she said, Jake, we do not treat others like that in this family and you know it. What's gotten into you? And then it hit me. It was Link. Link had gotten into me. I was being like Link. I had caught bullyitis. But I couldn't tell my mom about Link because my mom might call Link's mom. Then Link would tell every kid on the bus how fake Drake went and cried to his mommy. And every day on the bus for the rest of my life, I would hear about how I'm such a big baby. So I said, sorry, mom. Then I gave a big sigh. <sighs> I guess I'm just tired and hungry. Moms love to hear that tired and hungry. That's stuff that moms know how to fix. Mom patted me on the head. Then she fixed me a peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk. And she said, I'll make sure you get to bed early tonight, sweetheart. But when that sandwich is gone, you have to go to apologize to Abby. So I ate slowly, but then I put my dish and my glass in the sink and went to look for Abby. And I thought it was going to be like all the other times I had told Abby I was sorry, but it wasn't. 